Pratika. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in Ho Chi Minh City, which is the largest city in Vietnam. It's also called Saigon, which is its old name. So I'm with my brother here, Vikram, on this trip. And we landed this morning in Ho Chi Minh City and we checked into a hotel, I took a nap, and now we're just heading out for lunch. So the menu here is kind of interesting. They have things like snakes and snails on the menu and there's hardly any veg food. And it was also kind of difficult communicating with the waiter but we finally managed to place an order for a mushroom soup and stir fried broccoli. good we don't really have a plan for today because we landed today we didn't really plan anything but we're doing a couple of tours tomorrow right now I think we're just gonna walk around the city and probably go check out the Bentan market so we're being old school and decided to use a map this is where we are right now and we want to go to Bentan market which is here so let's go So we just saw, walked upon this Hindu temple here which is kind of random, I didn't know there are Hindu temples here. So we've made it to Benton Market, it's right behind me. This is the biggest market in Ho Chi Minh City and you get everything you can possibly imagine over here from clothes to electronics to food and basically everything. And this is apparently also one of the oldest buildings in Saigon. This kind of reminds me of Crawford Market in Mumbai but a lot cleaner than that. So today we've just been walking around District 1 which is where our hotel is and this is supposed to be the best neighbourhood. The Bintan Market was quite nice. We plan to go back there again on our last day and shop. Right now we really want to try out some uh, coffee because Vietnam is famous for its coffee. So we're going to go try out some coffee at this cafe. So we're trying to understand the menu here and it's very confusing. Drink the ice milk coffee. Ice milk coffee. Yeah. So I think this one will be good enough. This one? Okay. So our coffee is here and they gave us this complimentary drink which uh, they didn't really explain to us. But yeah, this is what we're going to be having and this is our view. bikes and I think the best way to explore Saigon is on a bike so today we're doing two tours with this company called back of the bike tour the first one is the Saigon city tour so basically they're going to be showing us around on a bike so our first stop is a local coffee shop and we're going to try out some traditional Vietnamese coffee post office. This was built by the French 130 years ago and it's still a functioning post office. So this is the Greek goddess Iris and apparently Iris is the goddess of communication between God and Earth so that's why they put a statue of Iris over here. So just across the post office is the Notre Dame church which was again built by the French. We're gonna go try out 
try some local fruits now. The next stop is this beautiful Chinese temple in Chinatown. I've never actually been to a Chinese temple before, so I'm quite excited to see it. This temple is really beautiful and the stories behind this temple are really nice. We're now going to go make a wish. This is Kim An and Nok An and they showed us around today and they did such a good job. Thank you so much guys. Hi, Hi guys. Have a good trip now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Just got done with the tour. I honestly can't recommend the store enough. It was such a great way of seeing the city. The guides were amazing. And if you're in Saigon, I think you should definitely consider doing the store because it's amazing. We finally managed to find vegetarian Vietnamese food. So we're at this restaurant called Hum and this is what we're eating. This is vegetarian Vietnamese spring rolls which should be had with this peanut sauce. This is mushrooms in a coconut shell and this is deep fried tofu which is another famous dish over here which should be had with this coriander sauce. The lunch was beyond delicious. It's only been a day and a half in Vietnam and I'm already loving it so much. Everything about Saigon is really nice. The food, the people, the vibe of the city, I'm just totally loving it here. We're now doing another tour with back of the bike tours and this time it's a food tour. So over email I told them that we're vegetarian so let's see what Vietnamese food we're going to be trying. So starting with some raw papaya salad. Vietnamese MA Ma means different things with different accents and they're gonna show us how. So what is ghost? Ma. And mother? Ma. Horse? Ma. Rice? Ma. Tomb? Ma. However? Ma. Literally all sound the same. I don't know how you understand Vietnamese. It's not the same. <laughs> some dessert so we've got ice cream with hibiscus flour ice cream with mango and sticky rice and black sticky rice with ice cream just got done with the food tour and it was amazing I think uh, we tried some really incredible food they arranged some really good veg food for us and it was really nice trying out local cuisine Today we're exploring the Kuchi tunnels which are situated about 70 kilometers from Saigon. So the Kuchi tunnels are basically an underground network of tunnels that were used by the Vietnamese soldiers to fight the French and later the Americans. So we're going to be going inside the tunnels but for now we're watching a short documentary movie about the Kuchi tunnels. So there are staircases that go inside the tunnel from here. Fun fact, the Kuchi tunnels were built 250 years ago by hand and it took 20 years to build them and the soldiers lived inside them for 20 years. So inside the tunnels there's everything you could possibly need. There's a dining room bunker, there's a hospital bunker and basically everything you could possibly imagine. We just shot some AK-47s, that was really cool. Basically crawling inside the tunnel. It's completely dark inside. Okay, that was not easy. We only did 20 meters, but that was crazy. So we just got done seeing Kuchi tunnels. Typhoon Honey here is our tour guide and he did such a good job of showing us around, made the whole trip very entertaining and informative. Thank you Kiki, love you long time and love my brother too. Be proud, <laughs> we are brothers and sisters, we are good siblings, we are family. 
Forever! Thank yeah. you, darling. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you, love. We're now in a cafe having some more iced coffee. I think Vietnamese iced coffee is my new favorite drink. So the plan for this evening is just to walk around and try some more local food. We haven't tried pho yet. I'm not sure you get vegetarian pho, but we're gonna go try our luck. We've come to this restaurant called Pho Le, which had a really good rating online. So I managed to get vegetarian pho. And pro tip if you're vegetarian, chai means vegetarian here. So if you go anywhere and tell them you want the chai version of the food, they will understand. Today is our last day in Ho Chi Minh City and we're doing a bit more sightseeing and we're going to be going back to a few places we've already seen before. So we're starting with the Jade Emperor Pagoda which is a Taoist temple. I've just been pooped on. There's bird poop on me and on my phone. And I don't have any napkins. I'm honestly loving the architecture of this temple. It's beautiful. I wish I knew the stories behind this temple, uh, but I think when I go back home, I'm gonna Google it. I'm now standing outside the Independence Palace, also known as the Reunification Palace. So this was an important landmark during the Vietnam War, which is actually called the American War over here. So the president of South Vietnam used to live inside this palace and the war ended when a North Vietnamese tank crashed through the gates of this palace and that is what led to the independence of Vietnam. Back again at the post office, we wanted to send a letter to our grandfather. It's his birthday next week, so we thought it would be a nice idea to send him a letter. We got completely drenched in the rain and I was just waiting for the rain to stop so we can go find this cute cafe and have some coffee. I'm seriously obsessed with Vietnamese coffee. I've had one iced coffee already and this is my second and it's still raining outside so we're stranded here and I'm just downing coffee after coffee. Our last meal in Saigon and we're having some pizza, onion rings, and Saigon special. So this is the end of our time in Saigon. I absolutely loved Saigon and I had such a great time here. It's funny that this city actually reminded me of so many cities that I've been to but it's got its own vibe and I really loved it. Tomorrow morning we're heading to Hoi An. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment and share this video and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I'll see you guys in Hoi An. Bye!